Hey all, I decided to do a PS3 game collection video because I don't have all that many so hopefully I can get them all done in one video instead of a million parts like my PS2 one. First game up, Condemned to Bloodshot. I have Condemned 1 as well, but not for PS3. This one was an improvement I felt over the original, um, although it still isn't exceedingly fun to me. But it was a worthy attempt, and it's an entertaining kind of game. Just, just a little silly at times to me. Anyway, you know, I'm a horror fan, so of course I'm going to try to pick up all these types of games. It's, you know, worth a rent, I guess. And if you liked it, then you should pick it up. Um, The Darkness, which I thought was really cool, like, um, when they show prototype video footage of this stuff. It looked really neat. Didn't exactly come out as neat as I had expected or believed it would be. But, um, um, these are the types of games that couldn't have been possible before consoles like the 360 and the PS3 because of what they featured, like this sort of growing black darkness, the darkness. <laughs> but, so they're sort of like these games sort of to me are like tech demos more than anything else because they're not exactly all that fun unfortunately dark sector not worth it no but here it is because it seems vaguely cool but um like most games that seem vaguely cool it ended up failing so what can I do by D3, who does a lot of the cheap, silly games, so they, I guess it makes sense. Guitar Hero World Tour. I don't have Guitar Hero 5 as of yet, though I would like to because it seems to be a big improvement. This is Guitar Hero 4, I guess, and this is the first one with all the instruments to compete with rock bands. And it seemed kind of like a rip-off at that time, but um, with Guitar Hero 5 it just sort of feels like, oh, it's another game. There's a few, you know, it's not really rip-off, it's just that's how they do it now. They need to compete, and it's fine. They have their own things going for them. Um, this was alright. I honestly did not prefer it, even though I used to only play the Guitar Hero series, I feel that Rock Band does it better. It's just my opinion. Little Big Planet. Hey, we finally get to a console exclusive! <laughs> I expected this game to be amazing, as everyone did with all the hype and you can do whatever you want, make all your crazy stuff. Sack boy so cute, blah blah blah. In the end, I did not really enjoy this game. Also, it was a lot harder than it looked like it should be. This looks like a game for little kids, but it was crazy difficult at some points. Like there's some part where you have to hang on to some ball and jump off and just land in the right spot and Ugh! Oh, this game's frustrating. I haven't beaten it because it, it became difficult. <laughs> Too difficult for me to do it. Anyway, I don't really think it was worth the hype, but if you really like creating things, like the with the level creator, or if you like that in general, just like making stuff, then this is probably worth it just for that. Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. At yet another console exclusive, at least somewhat, because there's that Metal Gear game coming out for, um, 360, but I don't think that's 4. That's just another type of game. This was a lot of fun. Um, I got this actually with the uh, MGS Bundle for, uh, PS3. Not the uh, not the uh, Gun Silver one or whatever it's called, but the other just one, like a gig console. And I was pleased. <laughs> this was a really great game. I'm a big fan of the series, so obviously I'm going to enjoy this. Though I have had people who did not even play any of the other Metal Gear Solid or even see them still found this an interesting game, so I guess that's a testament to storytelling being pretty damn good. Yeah, I like this game a lot. And it felt more like a movie than a game. I mean, they all sort of have like really long videos, but this one felt more like when I talk about it, I usually just say Metal Gear Solid 4 was a great movie with game elements. 
because the gameplay parts felt a little too short for me. That was maybe because I would rush through them. So I wanted to see more of the story. The orange box, the messed up version. Because the PS3 one had issues. And it doesn't have any updates of any sort. To the best of my knowledge. Um I have this for 360 as well. So don't get all angry at me. I don't have it for PC though. Because I always forget to buy it and whenever it's on sale I always don't. Um But it's the orange box, and I'm just gonna review it as the orange box. Not pertinent to this console. Half-Life 2 is a great game. Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and 2 are fine as well. Portal is beautiful. Team Fortress 2 is a lot of fun. And this isn't the way to play it. If you want to play Team Fortress 2, don't get the PS3 version. But, you know, if that's all you have, then fine. Anyway, good stuff. Orange Box it is worthy of being in anyone's collection. If you don't like how most of the games separately, at least. Rock Band 2! I love this game a lot. I think it was one of the first games I've bought on my PS3, so I love Metal Gear Solid 4 with that came with it. Um, I love Rock Band 2. I love it a lot, and I am happy with my purchase, though I have probably spent at least 60 more dollars in DLC. Of course, it doesn't seem like that much when you just spend like a dollar or two on a song. But, um, I really like it. I love the customization features for the characters and all that stuff, and I still yet to play it online with anybody, but if you want to and want like a decent selection of DLC, then you can ask me. <laughs> anyway, it's fun. It's a really great party game. I usually pl play this when uh, a bunch of my friends come over, because it's a lot of fun and everyone likes it. Saints Row 2. I do not have Saints Row 1, so this is my first experience, and it's sort of like GTA except if GTA did not lose that fun that it had back in the day, like the GTA 2 and stuff. I mean, it's still, those are still fun games and they still have amusing things in them, but this is like, they kept the silliness, they know that they're being dumb. You know, they know this is all just fun, basically. And that's what it is. And you can make your character all, all ghetto awesome, ghetto fabulous, I guess. You can see what's going on right there. But, um, it's fun. It's it's interesting. You can have a you can have a cheat code to get a UFO. It's pretty fun to mess around with in the city. Soul Calibur 4. I'm a big fan of Soul Calibur series, so this was a necessary purchase for me. And I love it. I really enjoy the customization features and the online, which is free because it's on the PS3. And I really, really, really enjoy it a lot. I am not the best player, however, I can still manage to beat a couple people online, which pleases me. Um, really good, really good game. Personally, I like this more than another fighting game I have on the console. So if you're a fan of the Soul Calibur series, definitely, definitely pick this one up. It's really good. Also, I have Star Wars characters if you're into that. Silent Hill Homecoming. I hate this game! Oh. I don't know what about it I hate so much. Well, yes, I do. Never mind. I know exactly what I hate about this game. Everything. <laughs> no, but honestly, I guess I expected a lot from this game. I expected, you know, something great because it had been a while since Silent Hill had come out. Well, an official console release, not the uh, PSP one. So I expected so much from this game, and it let me down in every respect. And so, except for lighting. The lighting was pretty neat. That's really one small compliment to make for the whole game. I may re have to may have to review this separately because of how much I hate it. Tekken 6. Ooh, nice cover here. Um, this one is an interesting game. It's a little different because it has a weird, like, story mode beat em up thing, which I really hate. But aside from that, it's alright. You can play online, which is very cool. Um, it's just really hard to get money for clothes if you're not playing the beat em up mode, which I hate, so I don't ever want to touch it. However, I love to customize my characters, so I sort of have to do it. Anyway, if you're a Tekken fan, this is for you. I prefer Soul Calibur 4 to this one, personally. 
Virtual Fighter 5, my first fighting game on the um, PS3. I wish I had gotten the online version, but I didn't know it existed when I bought this. Anyway, decent game. I really like El Blaze. <laughs> I'm a big fan of um, Mexican wrestler types. Like my favorite character in the second series is King slash Armor King guys. Those dudes. But anyway, this was fun. Um, it looked really neat. It had really nice graphics, at least at that point. Though they're kind of like shiny and weird now. Anyway, good game. I'd personally pick up something else over it, but that is just me. Anyway, that is all my PS3 games because I really don't have that many. So, yay.